and he dreamed of the innocence older girls once revered him for when he was only half of ten and they were no older than these girls below them who walked to school, who the scary lady with the mud face on the balcony had frightened. For a moment he was half of ten again, wrapped in this blanket, on this balcony, wrapped in brick, and the mud lady standing over him frightened him by the whites of her eyes and wanted to see the whites of his. He went away in his mind to cope with her, remembered pulling a sled through woods until his foot hurt, and the older boys said, Stop crying, and the older girls lifted him, dropped him in the sled, pulled him home in the cold while they watched their backs and their breath in the air, exhaled, and heard stride in their loose snow pants and the crunch of snow under their feet. The whites of his eyes were visible when they gave him to his mother later, who helped him pull off his boot where his white sock was soaked red. There was a hole in his foot, and he'd have to sit on the kitchen counter and wait and watch his mother pace and use the phone and that word doctor. And he knew he had been bad, but his mother blamed it on glass that she couldn't find, that he must have stepped on in the woods. And he cried at the red hole in his foot that needed to be sewed up and wished it would go away. But he stopped crying because this was a dream now, and he was not a child. There was a girl younger than him beneath the mud on her face, and she liked him very much.